It's going to be Bristleback going up against all these heroes of Albanian. I like Mars, the, I like the lane. To actually, so many ways to start it. And this is also a lineup that can really uh, activate the troll warlord. The question is, the bigger question is... What Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, we're here. It's game two. TNC, one game away from taking the championship. And OB Neon Kyle looking to bounce back. You liking what you see out of them as far as their adjustments go, or are you liking TNC here? I, I love the Bristle last pick. This is one of my favorite heroes, uh, one of my best through multiple MOBAs. I think that the fact that they're putting on an Armel, likely mid, and then Gabby on the safe lane co-op is a really cool adjustment. Should give them favorable lanes in both scenarios. And there's just no answer to Bristleback. I look at this draft, I'm like, holy crap, Like Bristle actually just kills everything. Um, you are yeah. so good against all three of these strength cores, and they don't they just don't have anything for Bristleback, man. They got nothing. Yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised to see the Armel and the Bristle. I saw Queen of Pain. I'm just like, sweet. We're going to get to see an Armel Queen of Pain. But yeah, safe lane Queen of Pain coming out. This this feels like something that can catch OB Neon by surprise when it comes to these lanes. Uh, it's, uh, I, 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 I think that they'll know uh, one of the things about tnc is that it's pretty much always armel going mid so they should see yeah but it might have thrown them like they, they're gonna they're find from across the smoke. river tag team's already been leveled begins. up here uh -oh. see the slow does catch balkan again with the taxi that's a lot of slow they push him back as well as tim's gonna snipe the bounty room but balkan may die for this first blood picked up by the boots first blood. is that worth it i mean it's a bounty rune for the first blood well, the gold thing is really well They've is pull a... creep waves to camps and then farm both with uh, with quill spam. Yeah. Something. I yeah, I guess Kunkka, you kind of can do it with the cleave, but definitely nowhere near to the same extent of Bristle can. Yeah. Top lane, they've gone in on Mars, and this is the the matchup they wanted and the matchup they're going to look to crush. Although Tim's maybe going to pay for this with his life. Does go down as Gabby has to aggro some tower hits yeah. off of him. They get the kill, but they trade one to go away. I'm surprised. Normal, we'll get another free bottle refill. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't get any points in the uh, in the queue. It got buffed in the last patch, 1.5 armor, level 1. And it'd be so good in this spot. Like, you have so much catch if you have it. Irpaj forced a TP to his tier 1 tower. As Armo maybe just gonna chase down Yanuel here, and one or two more quills, and he's gonna get this kill. Needs an ice shard block, doesn't quite get close enough yeah, to the quill damage though. What one point Q, man? Yeah, I mean yeah, you got one uh, exactly like that. That's just standard. I have thought I've seen a lot of players getting that early point in Q um, because it's also about getting warpath stacks. You cannot get to max warpath even at only level one with five stacks by just spamming full spray. You need to have both actives available. Great play from Gabby, gets the kill up pop, but may pay for this. The tower damage with the support rotation does end up bringing him down as uh, Mars, you know, taking out both the Earth Spirit and the Queen of Pain up top, but Step lively does uh, now. see Queen of Pain get a kill board. here. Bloodseeker down bottom now in some trouble. Bok getting chased back to his tower. Very Utsumi. Haven't talked much about his troll. It does feel like, you know, oh, troll. Just, okay, not what Bok had in mind. Is that like a BM pause? I don't know what that, yeah. Gabby gonna tip the troll here. I mean, this does feel like a pretty good game for troll as far as it's not having spicy. anything that really completely ruins this game. Perhaps the Wyvern. We haven't seen much Wyvern. Yeah. Um, it is It is really just the Wyvern, and I would say the Quap can be very annoying it's too, but spicy. it's an awfully, like, Gabby's not having the greatest game, so I don't think he's gonna be super concerned. And realistically, the thing about troll is that you're just gonna farm way faster than all these heroes. You're gonna buy Battle Fury, and you're gonna hit Creeps. Zero patch getting gone on here. You mentioned this is the, the level one goo. Would have probably got that kill there, but yep. I'm out. It, not gonna have it. It yeah, only takes one. He's never like it, it lasts. It's so good. Also, no, sorry. It's, it's, one it's two armor plus 1.5. Hold that thought, Kunka. He got too low, and there's a Blood Seeker in the game. Trying to farm and make some stacks. He made a nice stack. Guess what? Now Brixel's like, uh, your stack? No, this. this is my stack. Yeah. Which is Timber Thank Soft in a way. The difference is that Bristle has that ability to stay offensive, to run at enemies. You have your own slow. Now he's a DD. He's just gonna smack yeah. this, these heroes. And they already committed the boat, so there's some damage block for Yopai, but he gets stunned before he can TP out. The arena is there to try and bail him out. Marmel gets stuck to the arena. He's not gonna die here, but he will slow him down a little bit, but he's 
still just going to thread through them with the DD. You mentioned stolen Cold Embrace, doing a nice job saving the Snowball there as well. Armel just sitting in his ally Bloodbright is just going to oh, absolutely God. annihilate them. Oh no, for him. Looking for a third triple kill for Armel. Armel's not done. He's on the right back, back here. As Bloodseeker looking to charge attack. forward, it could be play hard next. Is it going to be the ultra kill? You betcha. Mars the only survivor. Oh, an agent stack. Thank you very much, guys. Wow. At, wow, yeah. he is a son. He, he is unstoppable. He's been top two, top three in SEA consistently. With just, you know, the occasional underperformance in some of these mm -hmm. online events, like not making it to the major. And Sumi just... Oh, one more kill. No. Gets the ultimate off. Heist. Not gonna... Life's still off of it. He's just gonna oh, no. pull in deeper, unfortunately. Now, Sumi, there's no way you get with this one alive. There's Brock. Okay. The mischance on him. Jason's on though, his brittle back is just keeping everyone out of this one. That's Sumi. Well, he got the ulti off, but it just delayed the inevitable. Yeah, I, I'd be, I'd be considering GGing out. <laughs> it's 10 yeah. to 6, but it's like, uh, what do we do, guys? If it wasn't um, a grand I... final, perhaps. Off the setup, the Winter's Curse. There's a Sonic Wave to hold this one up, and it gets annihilated. Down goes the Rubik. Could be Devil next. Scam. No escape for him. One more scream to finish him off. The roll is there. The scream too. Yo, he's in the kind of a one versus four situation. I don't think he wants to be here at all. Like you say, this is entering potential GG territory. Tusk goes up. Guys, you're already outnumbered. It's five versus two. Why are you showing up to fight? Yeah, you well. Oh, no, they're gonna roll it through. Miss him and catch you. As you said, that's a bigger kill. That's the mid punk effect here. They're diving and tier three towers with this bristle. He is just unstoppable. Tim, maybe a bit off more than he can do. He is gonna go down, but Armel, I don't think he's afraid of dying here. They'll get out. Only losing the Earth and oh, by the way, they got another Tusk kill. I mean, what mid, and suddenly a Bristleback comes out and just farms the entire map. Roche will go down for free. I don't think they, do they even give it to Bristle? It feels like yeah, Gabby looks like he's taking it because this Bristle is trying to kill it. Silver Amulet, it's so good on the, you always have a spell on cooldown, or you're not spamming your W if you well enough. Jump in, huh? Well, that's the Aegis down, but here comes the cleanup. Well, maybe not, Bristle's pretty far away, but it's Bok on the Bloodseeker, just charging with a rupture. Another blood right coming out. Nice stun coming in. The roll from Tim's gets the slow in a couple of goal marks within the ring that could be able to bring down the Bloodseeker. Yep, Playhard snipes it. Here comes the Torrent Boat. Tim's getting low, and Bristleback was just on the other side of the map for this one. So finally, Obi Neon get the better of uh, TMC for now. Ooh, thought about ulting right. there. And yeah, they just didn't have the bristle running in. That's how you need to fight if you're Obi-Neon. Get these pickoffs. Fight away from the bristleback. Do not let RML dictate where these engagements go down. Yeah. Gabby, he's in trouble. Yeah, he already lost the Aegis. Oh, nice silence. Back in with the X to blink out. Oh. Oh. Another clean. I, oh, gets him. Yo, Paj. A kill. That's... Basically, you can't kill the bristle. Pop's the best coup you can get. He made paper with his life. Real high. And slowed down by arm melt. Is there going to be an escape here? Does have a TP if he can find himself in a nice spot. Winter's Curse available, though, is... It's, it's a stolen rock of blood right for coming in from Playhard, making all kinds of plays. The TP out from the Kunkka and Neon. Don't lose any. At least not yet. Neon, maybe going to lose to Bill here. He's trapped in the trees. No escape for him. But they're more than happy to take this fight and only lose a Mars if that's the case. Oh, the problem goodness. is, it may not... <laughs> Dude, that, that stolen blood right is the only reason this fight lasts so long for Neon. Yeah. That is, I'm trying to think, how do you close this if you're TNC? I mean, the Assault Cure Ass on Armel will certainly help. But the the team fight from, from Neon is starting to get a little spooky. They have the BKB on Troll, soon to have one on Yopage as well. Mid lane, they get a spear back onto the block. It doesn't quite latch onto the trees, though. He gets pushed out of the arena, actually. It doesn't quite get caught in that one, but he's incredibly low anyways. Gets the rupture out as well. Rubik still with this stolen blood right, just making all kinds of plays. This silence on blood stun will crystal back causing problems. The spear back on the bristle patrol trying to bring him down. Is the damage there? Doesn't he's trouble. Like he's just trouble. Yet, but he is going to get low. He does go down. Let's assume the Sonic Wave not there in time to kill him off. He does end up dying. Gabby with the BKB charging it head first. Picks up play hard. Gabby just uncountered with that BKB. And now Jimmy running in forward. The Wyvern looking to set things up for Tim's and Gabby. They roll in. They get the back line Mars. He goes down. Wyvern willing to throw away his life. The TP cancel coming out from Tim's. Tim's with his low cooldowns just destroying them in this fight. And Bok is back. He's all back. And he is going to absolutely clean up this mess as TNC. They may have lost the bristle, but you kind of mentioned it earlier. If he does die, he's going to buy his teammates a hell of a lot of time to do just this. Wipe out Obi Neon. Yeah, really well played there by Gabby. Just playing out the the fight. Well, I guess he gets the 30 attack speed, but yeah. Okay. It feels well, like he's gone. 
Well, what's interesting though, like considering that fight that he did die, he didn't have the plate mail. He went to the greedy um, progression with the hyperstone first. So yeah, I thought here they come, they get the radiant scan. They see everyone with this one, but the oh, nice gets salt. caught. Gets caught in the speed, but the cold break is there. The winter, you say the winter curse saving everyone else. Oh my god! With the sonic breaks out of a huge desecration as Gabby gets himself a double kill, and he's looking for more. The Rubik in the trees has been hunted down as well, and with the bristle back in the middle of this, doesn't seem to care. He's just taking up the draw. Great cold break again. Fumi playing this fight perfectly. Has get got Gabby an ultra kill. He's looking for the rampage. Give him the rampage. He gets stolen the third, but can he get it the second time? He oh, just, oh, it's a rampage. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Easy pickings for him. That was absolutely the <laughs> Shout out to Fumi. I know we saw a rampage. I right, so get mid racked. Can't get bottom without the tier 2 tower, and we will see Skem spear back in the bristleback. This bristleback has looked a little more vulnerable, but ultimately, when they focus bristle, it's just meant Quap has been able to clean up. Yep. Boomy. Thinking about Boomy. Next back, they want to. They, they recognize this Wyvern for the problem he is in these fights. Oh, Still gets the Winter's Curse on. Not going to lead to any kills here in the Bloodseeker. Actually, gets speared into the arena. So Bok in some trouble as well. Has a four staff, but can't get out of the arena. So a couple of kills going over Neon's way. Now. The two racks. The, the one like... perhaps thing Neon could do that may give them a sliver of hope is snipe this Roshan. I feel it's just respawned and with. Blood. Wyvern dead? I mean, Wyvern's back in 20 seconds. I don't think they're going to get out the Roshan time. They're also getting picked off here. But Gabby finds one kill, looking for a second, potentially, as Kim goes charging forward. He's going to BKB, and Gabby just jumps on top of this Rubik. This Rubik just going to get deleted by a BKB swap. And... Yep, he's just unstoppable now. Well, I talked about them taking Roche because it's 5v3. Well, it looks like, you know, all TNC need is Tims and Gabby to take a two versus five fight here. Yopaj can't do anything except BKB oh. TP and he almost dies there. Oh, that was close. Hey, yeah, I was about to yeah. say, you're talking about DS on Mumbai? One. Come on, yeah. Kyle. Okay, I, they, they were they won for the, some reason. Well, there was the China, not the China, the, the Chengdu Major, I want to say. Radiant one one of them, one know, of the so Majors long. in China. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, it's so long ago, oh. you don't remember it too well. But this is TNC, they look like they might be... Oh! Brutal start to the fight. Doesn't mean Troll doesn't have to worry about that Winter's Curse, but the problem is there's no Rubik. Will instantly buy back. They go in on Booby, force him to defensively cold embrace himself. Does mean he doesn't have that save, and he's going to get brought down to start the fight without a buyback here. So we'll see what the rest of TNC can do without the Wyvern this time. It looks like it's just fine. Gabby and Armel are just too damn farmed and tanky. Now Tumi trying to life seal his way through this one, but he's hitting the back of the Bristleback. This is not what you want to do. And unfortunately, the Bristleback wow. just a little bit too tanky. It's GG. TNC take the grand finals 2-0. That was convincing, Kai. That was that was a straight up domination. They look like the best team in this tournament by a margin. And uh, you know, just saying, like, look at their smiles, like they're boot camping, they're getting their, yeah. their, their dances on, like definitely some confidence. And if I learned anything from the last major, confidence is everything. Drop those question marks early. And in this case, I think undefeated, right? Oh no, not undefeated. They dropped one game. No, but... they 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 came from the lower bracket, but one of those losses where it felt more of a draft problem than a play problem. Yeah, they, they, they clicked here. Uh, I think their last picks in both games were excellent. The way they played, they certainly understand, I think, a little bit of how this new patch affects Dota. It's like you said, Parker, just early kills, early aggression. We saw Armel do a great job controlling runes. And I think the Wyvern pick, to me, again, Boomy, just straight up MVP. Well, TNC, your Dota 2 Asia Pacific champions here in the Predator League. I mean, like, it, it's... It's dominant stuff, and that is a really good sign for them moving forward. You know, DPC League's just around the corner. They're starting next week. TNC didn't make it to the first major out of a tough SEA region, and yeah. I feel like they're a team that, if they're at the major, they can very easily get top six and qualify for TI. So they may not have made it to the first major, but they're a team you can never count out of qualifying to TI. Oh, yeah.